From Harlem to Hell and Back, the documentary, a grant proposal by Richard Sears Walling, documentarian in partnership with the Fractured Atlas Organization of New York City. Much of the footage to be included in the documentary will be French archival film, which has heretofore not been seen in the United States. It has only recently been digitized. Licensing is required from France in order to acquire the film. The watermark will obviously not be on the images. This is recorded from a video screen. It's not the best quality, but it shows what the images are. And this is the area of France that I visited in November of 2022. There's approximately 15 minutes or so of this type of footage that will be intercut with then and now images. Well, we see French soldiers along with the Harlem Hellfighters, the officers, and this is the uh, front lines in the Champagne region. This is from Peter Jackson's film, They Shall Not Grow Old, that shows how the film is digitized and colorized. And that will be the purpose of the project uh, for this. The next set of clips are from the Montplaisir, scenes from or the Montplaisir uh, last film, November 2022. which is on this wartime map. The area in green is the area where the 369th was located. So basically, we have Montplaisir film. This was the command post of the uh, 369th, different battalions in rotation. The turb is this little stream here. And when I say a little stream, I mean a little stream. And so uh, there would be the main line, and at nighttime, they would put up these uh, forward listening posts along the turb. And it was along these listening posts that uh, Henry Johnson and Needham Roberts were attacked by a raiding party of at least uh, 24 Germans. And according to Major Little, they were in this area. The Germans retreated over through the woods and then back to the turb, according to the Major Little. They walked about a half a mile from the listening posts where the battle took place, where the fight took place, through the woods and to the turb and back to the German lines. So this is the area where uh, the firm or the farm of Montplaisir once stood. And uh, when we stopped people, they said, but we, we don't know, we don't know because it's no longer standing. So we'll just go right over here. This is the site of the firm, the farm. The wood line is the turb. And the American listening posts and the French listening posts were in the uh, field right up along the edge of the uh, stream. And according to Major Little, the Germans retreated back into those woods and then across and into there and back to the German lines right over in that direction. The African-American community of the, the United States was actively supportive of efforts. These are images of individuals who served. Uh, this is the Bolden Collection. All of these original items, along with other soldiers' accounts, will be the focus. These are, again, French archival images not seen before. That's from the University of Massachusetts, white and black soldiers together. African American nurses who served. All of these will be uh, featured. Looking back towards the village with the 369th monument right there. And this area is the site of an ancient cemetery. And over in this field, about 150 yards away, <clears throat> is a, um, a sh line of shrubbery. And that marks the location of a German machine gun nest. And then later the um, trenches of the 369th on the night of the 29th of September, which guarded the northern flank to the village. This is aerial footage of the uh, Bellevue Signal Ridge. The 369th was coming from the uh, right of the screen towards this high ground, which is fringed by trees, the village of Sechaux in the distance a 1920 painting of the unit. And of course, the regiment is popular in American culture today.